After the British left India in 1947, Nagaland faced challenges in its quest for recognition as an independent nation. AZ Pizzo, a crucial rebel leader, took a bold step by planting the inaugural Naga flag, marking the beginning of their struggle for independence. Come with me to AZ Pizzo's historical landmark, where the first Naga flag was proudly raised. I apologise in advance for my lack of knowledge about this topic. This was a very last minute outing uh, and I wasn't prepared to speak about it properly at the time. Yeah. So, this is a uh, jungle wear, the first uh, uh, freedom fighter, is a Tizo. He's, so he's uh, known as the father of the nation, or Naga nation, father of Naga nation. Okay? So, he, he, he was, uh, during the, uh, uh, when there was a conflict going on between the Indian government and this uh, rebel group, they were, uh, the Naga army, okay? He was hiding in this, you know, he was, he used this uh, jungle as his best game, okay? So, uh, everywhere people were searching for him, eventually, like, people were searching for him because uh, he started that movement, right? Yeah. So, uh, he, he used this place as his best game, okay? Yeah. His camp is there. His camp is there. His camp? camp? Yeah, his camp used to be there. His camp's where? Yeah, up in the hill. Up in the hills? Yeah. So, wow. Wow. So this is a very historic and very iconic and important place in Nagaland. It's the place where they, they say the father of Nagaland planted the first ever Naga flag when it was um, declared as, as its own state, right? That's when it became a state. So let's have a look. At this, at this historic spot, Parishen, Rengma area, His Excellency Azi, the President of Naga Council, declared the formation of the Federal Republic of Nagaland on 22nd of March 1956. A Naga national flag was first hoisted by Thung Di Chang, Commander in Chief. Wow. These are the names of the this is the father of the nation. Yeah, AZ Pizzo. AZ Pizzo. Yeah. And here you can see Tunti Chang. He's yeah. the chief of the army, you know, general. Yeah. Tunti. And then um, here you can see Wei Ha Rengma. And then you see Krista Nisa Angami. Okay. Philippu. Philippu Sema. Evil Hu Sema. David Chem. Wow. Wow. It's difficult, like, it's easy to forget when you're traveling around Nagaland that it's technically still a part of the nation of India. But however, when you come to places like this and you see and you learn about its independence as its own state um, and how much they fought for it. And you see just the thick, rich culture that they have here. It feels like a different place. It feels like a different country. Uh, and it feels like a really special place as well. Uh, I'm gonna learn a lot more about this. I'm not qualified to talk really about it right now, but I'm going to be. <laughs> so you have to, uh, wolf eat a wolf or weave I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they did the, those things so the, this is not the, uh, the original one, yeah the of original course. one is kept safe in some camp. in like a museum or something yeah in a camp you know in a camp in a yeah peace camp, i guess yeah so that was sorry um rovin was just talking about the original flag that um that az piso hoisted the first ever naga flag was made by Three women in a local village. Yeah, it's in a new village. You know. It's in a new village, and they sent it to him. They, they, he, they sent it to him. Yeah, they, he, they, they, uh, they wove the thing. No, mm. they made the thing uh, according to Piso. Piso instructed them. Yeah, like, uh, this is the flag because the 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 flag represents something, right? The meaning of the flag represents mm. something. It it has a meaning. Okay, it's not just a flag, but uh, Piso. It was a 
Uh, I, uh, I I heard that he saw something in his dream or something like that. Actually, I'm not uh, well aware about it. I, the, the, well, yeah. verse about that story. Okay, okay. but I, I know like something like that. So yeah. this flag was made by uh, uh, three women from our village. Okay, so Pizzo instructed them to uh, like uh, make that particular flag. Like this, there is a rainbow, there's a star, and there there used to be a, a dove or something like that. Okay. Actually, uh, it changed with it changed with the time, you know. Mm. Change it changed with the time. So this is the present thing. But actually, actually, this is uh, not the original one, which was the original one, which was made. Okay. Okay. The design has changed. Okay. People still, some of the people still use the original. The original Naga yeah, flag. Yeah, and then see these people. Okay. The, yeah. The, uh, okay. GN and all they use the same the original one. But yeah. This is the present day where most of the people are using. Okay, yeah. This flag. Wow. That's a lot of information to unpack there. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about uh, about Nagaland and about the history here, you can do that through um, through Roving Naga's channel as well. He explores Nagaland extensively, so you can check that out. Um, and also, just come here, come here yourself, and experience this this history uh, and this incredibly unique, strong nation-like state of Nagaland. Uh, saying all this, uh, it doesn't mean that we had uh, the uh, we had the Indians or we don't know, uh, we don't or like it's against the India or something. But this is uh, something which happened in actual. Mm. So that is the reason why exactly they're, they're still there, right? The yeah. stories are still alive. It, it never yeah. be it can never be hidden from yeah. the world because uh, or people have suffered so much during those times. Villages were burned. Even our village was I heard it was burned for three uh, three times. So by the, by the, the government of India, the Indian Army and all. Yeah. That. So there was there was a war going on. So mm. during the war, obviously these things happened. No. Mm. But there was a genocide, and many things happened. Many bad things happened. There were uh, rapes. There were, you know, the villages were burned to ashes, and there were people. You no. Know, oh, oh. uh, I I heard one story about Metakra village. Okay, this is not this side, but all the males, all the males in that village was beheaded and burned. Wow. And only one survived. Wow. Okay, from all the males, in the, uh, including the chief of the village and everyone. Okay, so these things happen, but it's hidden from. The, actually, it's not actually not hidden. Many people know about mm. it. Foreigners and all they know about it, and uh, especially these uh, people from uh, uh, England, UK, and all they've been very supportive with these things. With this movie. Yeah. That's why uh, the Pizzo. Okay, Pizzo. Uh, he died. He died in London. He died in London. Yeah. Yeah. He died in London. Yeah, he died in London. He was extradited there or something. Yeah, he he went out because uh, he was very wanted here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's an interesting point to make. It's you know, the people here in Nagaland themselves. There there is no um, animosity towards India, and they accept that they're a part of India now. However, they are just making sure that they don't forget this culture, their past, because it's so important. What, what some of these people went through it's just so that Nagaland would become a recognized state. If these people, if these 12 people, or how many, sorry, there are 10 people, if they didn't fight as hard as they fought, then um, Nagaland would be a part of another state, probably. It'd be part of Assam or something. Or it would be... be very different from now, you know. Like, yeah. It would be very different from now. Actually, that is the only reason why we have got certain rights, you know, our rights are protected by the constitution, you know, like we have certain constitutional rights. Our mm. Queen Nagas have certain, we mm. have protected by certain acts, okay. I don't know the, all the acts and all the city yeah. have some rights which the command Indian, which the mainland Indian yeah. have. Like, you can't, you can't come here and buy the land, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You can never. So one of the constitutional rights that Naga people have is that their land is their land. Yeah. People cannot come into Nagaland and buy land. Yeah. And it's because of these people. It's because of these guys.